Sarah from The Upcoming. Such Hello. a pleasure to speak to you. Very nice to meet you. So for people who don't know anything about Anatomy of a Scandal, can you give us a brief introduction? Uh, Anatomy of a Scandal uh, centres around uh, an event that happened in an elevator and it affects the lives of many people and it's really how that unravels across the series. And, you know, what was the first appeal for you? Was it, did you read Sarah's book? I mean, David E. Kelly is known for doing things like Big Little Lies and uh, The Undoing. But, of course, this is very much British set, British, uh, you know, classes of set. So, you know, what was the appeal for you of the story? Well, I read the book. I got Sarah's book pre-published, which is an amazing gift, and I sat there and read it, and it is an absolute page turn. I mean, it's brilliant. And, and you, you read into it, and the characters, and the narrative is driven by the characters, and you're just turning the page. And that sounds like a cliche, but it was absolutely true. And I felt that, you know, if you have this, this is going to make a great series. So I actually looked into the rights, and, and Bruna and Liza were already searching for them, but I knew both of them, and they were just about to sign the deal. So I was like, I like this. So we all sort of came together. Then David came on, and he's a legend. I mean, I've loved... I've loved David since Ali McBeal, when he says, do you want to go for coffee? And you cut to the two of them in a coffee cup. I'm like, OK, I could work with that. So that, so we had some licence to play. And I think, you know, it was just such an exciting team. And almost the pandemic enabled us to kind of allow us time to really develop those scripts and get them to where they needed to be. And what an incredible cast. You know, Rupert Friend, but also these four women at the centre of it, from Sienna to Chazette to Michelle to Naomi. So what was it like putting these people together and working with them? Oh, my goodness. My, look, my cast are awesome, and I know everybody says that, but truly, I mean, it starts with Sienna at the top. She is the heartbeat of the series, quite literally. In fact, her heartbeat is in the show. And she's just, you know... Sublime. It's so exciting to have her in a in a mother tongue, English, actually with the English accent. You know, so that's really exciting, and and she's just absolutely brilliant in it. And you know, really was you know once she said she was doing it, I knew which show I was making, and I was really excited by that. Um, and then Rupert took a little bit more persuasion. It's not the part that every man will run at, but you know, he he did eventually after numerous phone calls and uh, and and zooms and skypes together. But um, and then Michelle would met. So yeah, an amazing amazing cast all the way through. To Josette Simon, who is, uh, just gives a masterclass every time she stands up in the courtroom. And what do you hope people take away from watching it? Because obviously, you know, we've heard more and more stories about consent and all these sorts of things, but then this is also focusing in more specifically on power and privilege, you know, within our society, going from Oxbridge through into Westminster. So what do you hope people take away? Well, I mean, look, I hope first and foremost they enjoy it. And I think, yes, it, it, it certainly leans into those themes, you know, but I think those themes have always been relevant to our society since, since millennia ago almost, really. Fantastic. Okay. So lovely to speak to you. Love you.